Ciao ragazzi, Anthony here for Intel Worldwide, back again in one of my many morning hoodies. And there's two things I love at the cusp at 5.45 in the morning. It's fasted cardio in the freezing cold with my dog. And it's positive news about my beloved, our beloved, Internazionale. And we're here today to talk about something very positive and to react to something very positive. And it's not just the individual. It's, it's the work in the back room from Marotta and Auxilio and their team. It's the pierced ego of Steven Zhang finally reacting in the right way to being burned. We know what we're going through economically. We know what we're going through debt wise. I don't think many people had a lot of faith in the club reinvesting the money that we were supposed to spend on Romelu Lukaku on anybody else. I think we all thought and we all saw this as a chance to get out of that deal. But then the fans were starting to question, well, is this not exactly what the, what the ownership wanted? Because now that 60 to 65 million euro package that would have been used on Romelu Lukaku can now just be pocketed. But it wasn't. It really wasn't. It went on Pavard. It went on Cuadrado. It went on Arnautovic. It went on Augusto. And you know what? We'll probably go into the next market looking a little healthier due to the wage bill. The Pavard signing is just incredible because we've got Milan Skriniar's replacement now. Albeit Benjamin Pavard is going to have to work a little hard to take that starting spot from my boy, our boy, Matteo Damien, Matty Dams, who's probably looking at this sign and going, all right, challenge accepted. <laughs> Good on Matteo Damien. And now all of a sudden, guys, that defense that was looking shaky as all hell two games ago, we've got the best left center back in the league. Benjamin Pavard is here. Stefan de Vrij is recapturing form that we never thought he would. And now, Acerbi and Damian are bench players. They're bench players. So is Quadrado. So is Arnautovic. So is Fratesi. So is Bisek. So is Augusto. So is Alexis. The luxuries are there. Someone you know well at this channel, Mattia, we were messaging yesterday and what he said has stuck with me. If we sign Pavard, Anthony, I can expect nothing less than the second star. And I think I would agree. I am over the moon with this signing. Over the moon. It's really made my day early. And I've got a very busy day ahead of me. I've got a full day of office work. Lots of wedding stuff to do tonight. And this is going to kick me on for the whole day. Benjamin Pavard is an Inter player. 27 years old. Champions League winner. Goal scorer in that. Sorry. I was about to say World Cup winner. World Cup winner. Goal scorer in that World Cup. Champions League winner. Multiple Bundesliga and Cup champion. And I don't think I've seen someone force a move to Inter quite like he did in a while. Not since Lukaku. And it was for different reasons. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am very calm. I honestly feel like I'm in a meditative state since reading that headline. And I'm going to go and breathe some fresh Southwest Sydney oxygen while celebrating our new signing. I hope you guys are enjoying the extra content as much as I'm enjoying doing it. Okay. Ciao ragazzi, forza inter.